Hey everybody, it's the late Boy Scout. This is my disassembly and reassembly demonstration video of the Kershaw Chive Model 1600. Um, any of the Kershaw Chives will probably come apart in the exact same manner. And I am using uh, Torx number, hold on, probably should have got that, 6. Torx number, no, hold on, yeah, 6, okay. 6. Torx number 6 bit in order to get this thing apart. Let's start with this pocket clip. And let's go ahead and pop this off. Now, if this is, by the way, I have not done a dry run of this disassembly. I'm pretty confident that uh, there's no need for that. Kershaw's knives are pretty well built, in my opinion, and built pretty simply as well, um, for the most part. I mean, in most of the ones that I've disassembled and reassembled, no trouble, no trouble whatsoever. I'm trying to think of any that I might have had trouble with. Can't really think of any. No, but anyway, yeah, there goes the pocket clip. Frame lock, as you can see. Very cool and very appropriate, I think, for this very small, all stainless steel uh, spring assisted folder. We'll get a look at that spring assist mechanism here in just a minute. Let's get these, let's get one of these screws out of here in the back. All uh, T6 sized screws, so you don't have to switch bits at any point. In fact, if um, if you only have access to a T6 screwdriver, a T6, uh, yeah, screwdriver, <laughs> screwdriver bit, whatever you want to call it, then you can get this knife apart with just that. Let's see if I can get this one out. Doesn't quite want to go yet. This is why I maybe should have done a dry run. <laughs> You know, I don't care. You guys, you know, you're just here along for the ride. Here to witness it in uh, all its uh, detail. The fun stuff, the easy stuff. And um, you know, I've taken most of my knives apart. Kind of check them out, see how they work. Um, and the main reason I do that, I'll just be straight up with you. The main reason I do that is because I enjoy it. I just enjoy taking my stuff apart. I like seeing what it looks like on the inside. I like getting it apart, seeing how all the pieces work together. Um, you know, simple stuff. I mean, it's most often it's simple stuff. I and mean, we're talking about pocket knives here. They're not really hard to deal with, not hard to figure out. Let's see, it looks like. Is that spinning? Sometimes a little, a little bit tricky. Okay, now I've got it going. I had to kind of put my fingernail down. That's interesting. This doesn't really anchor in any way. The uh, opposite, the receiving end of that uh, pivot screw doesn't really anchor in any way. It doesn't appear to. So I kind of had to fingernail it down, push against it in order to get that screw to, um, yeah, to loosen up. So there we are. It's it's loose now. That's undone. There's our pocket clip and its screws. Okay, and there are the two back screws. And here we go. Yeah, okay, so look at that. The uh, spring assist mechanism is actually kind of underneath some of that uh, liner there. That's pretty cool. A little more, um, a little more detailed, a little more high-tech than I expected. There's the back strap. This is the safety. I'm not going to remove that. There's not really a point. Uh, I would not, you know, one of the other reasons that I take these things down, that I like to take knives apart and know how they come apart, so that I can clean them, you know, and get them uh, maintained, maintain them really well. And little items like this that clearly don't need to be removed in order for the knife to be taken apart to the point that you can get a good cleaning, I usually don't remove them. What's the point? So we can, we can remove the blade here. And this is what you would do in order to get this whole area nice and cleaned out. Okay, so we see some bronze, I think, washers there. And maybe a little bit of dust. So, you know, maybe I'll even kind of wipe this down just a little bit. Yeah, there's a little bit of dust there, a little bit of lint. I have carried this um, in my pocket for a little while, a couple weeks, get a feel for it. Favorable uh, review. Uh, if you haven't seen that review, I've got it there in annotation someplace. And, um, I, I, you know, I think that little, little folders like this have definitely got a role 
And if you don't have any, any little folders like this, I recommend you pick one up because, I mean, think about it. There are some places that you may just not be comfortable to bringing a sort of regular sized EDC blade or maybe the large size ones that you like to carry. Um, you may not feel comfortable bringing one of those, but you would definitely feel comfortable bring, bringing some tiny little thing like this. And um, this type of knife, the Kershaw Chive, is an excellent option for the sort of discreet EDC carry, um, which you might want to do at some point, which I feel is worth doing at some point, you know, occasionally, wearing, uh, carrying something that's uh, discreet, non-threatening, um, how did I put it? Uh, in intimidation factor zero on the blade. I think that kind of thing is worth owning, worth having. And this removes just like so, and then you can see that spring assist mechanism in there. And I could clean all that out as well, if I wanted to. I'll leave, leave it alone for the most part. And let's see if I can get this thing back together in the next uh, seven minutes. Because we're nearly done. <clears throat> Pardon me, <laughs> clearing my throat in the middle of the video. Alright, let's see here. Alright, we still working? Looks like it. I think we're still in place. Maybe I should wait and get that back strap in place in a second. Or maybe not. Don't know. I'll go ahead and see if these will go in. Well, you know what? We get the pivot screw in there first. Let's do that. That was the last thing we removed. Last out, first in. Let's try that. And, um, you know, I uh, removed that pocket clip. And it may be something that you never even bother putting back on. Um, you might take that off and leave it off because it's such a small folder that honestly it would feel comfortable just loose in my pocket and probably same goes for you um, something this tiny I mean really what's the point of you know, having that pocket clip I don't feel like the, the way that it rides I don't feel like it's you know the kind of deep that I'd like it to be anyway so why not just uh, you know I just Take that thing off. Well, let's see, I'm having a hard time getting those holes lined up. Hopefully we can make this work. Alright, back strap. Don't fail me. Okay, if uh, this takes me a long time, I will shorten the video and, uh, and uh, rejoin it where I figure this doggone thing out. Okay, I think I got it. At least for one of them. Haha. -ha. There we are. Maybe. Yes. 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 Yeah. What's up? What's up? What's up now? What's up now, Chive? You ain't got nothing on me. Okay, now I made that a little too tight. Okay, there we go. this is what you're going to experience as you work to get through your disassembly and reassembly of the Kershaw Chive. A few hiccups, a few what the heck kind of stuff, but you'll get through it. Be able to get this thing clean. It's about a $55 knife MSRP. You can find it for considerably less than that if you look at all, uh, which I did. I'm not going to bother with the pocket clip. I'll just finish the video. You know how it went off, took off. You know how it'll go back on. Um, yeah, you'll find it for considerably less than that $55 